and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Carly and I'm a young mom. I have a two-year-old daughter named Cash and a two-month-old named Kimber. So today we don't have big plans, but I do want to kind of like dip my toes back into vlogging, kind of get into the swing of it, get a feel for it since it's been so long since I have filmed a vlog. I do have a little announcement today. It isn't anything big or crazy and it's probably not that exciting to you guys, but it is exciting for our family. So I'll share that later. Yesterday was my first day home alone with both girls by myself. Jackson went catfish fishing with his dad. I'm like two hours away. So I was here by myself with both of them until like 1.30. And it, I had a terrible day. And I'll talk about that later. I am gonna have to go tend to Miss Kimmy over there. So if you guys have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other social medias that are linked down in my description box below, especially my Instagram. That's where I kind of stay the most active. I'm trying to ease back into like creating more interactive polls for you guys as well. So definitely check me out there and yeah, I will be right back. Hey, hey what did that star do to you? Uh, huh, what does this star do to you? Uh, what did she do to you? Uh, Oh, that poor baby. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, girl? Poor baby. Okay, let's go eat. Aw, did you give her your baby? Yeah. Yeah? I gave Cash her first ever, like, real ponytail. I usually just do, like, half of her hair up. Um, she's messed it up quite a bit, though, so it doesn't look the same. Kimmy is just hanging out down here, swinging. She usually doesn't like this thing, like, just every so often will she even sit in it. So, I'm really surprised she's sitting in it. But, hey. But, I did say that we have an announcement, I huh? Know. Yeah, we have an announcement. Did we get something? What do you have? Not many. What did we go get? I'm going to see if Cash will actually tell you guys what we got. Yeah, Cash. You are Cash. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, we do have a little announcement. Nothing big, nothing crazy, but we did grow our family. So, Cash, what did we get? Huh? What did we get? A puppy. A puppy. Did you get a puppy? Yeah, I did. Oh, my goodness. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Really? Where is she? Why do you only have one shoe on? Her toys? Where is Maggie? Where is she? Where is she? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I think she's back there. She is back there. Who is that? Who is that? Go to me. Good morning. It's actually the next day, but I wanted to introduce our puppy a little better because Cash was like being frantic and it was really chaotic. So, so, hey, come here. 
this is Cletus, if you guys didn't already know. We got him, I think, almost two years ago now. Cletus is a boxer lab healer mix. I don't know. I got him for free um, at Brahms. So, love that. But, yeah, this is Cletus. And this is Maggie. Hello. She is so cute. And this little girl is Maggie. She is a standard sized Australian Shepherd. Um, she was the runt, so she is pretty tiny, but she is literally so freaking cute. This is the blue Merle. That's what her coat is. Um, she doesn't have a lot of blue though. She has more of like black, but it's fine. I think she is so cute. She was the runt of the litter, so she's pretty tiny, but that's fine. She is eight weeks old now and she is spunky. We've had her for about two weeks. Hey, and we're working on house training. It's not going great, but it's, it's going. She does really good with Cash. Cash is still learning to be gentle. So that's been a journey. Ma'am, literally chewing on my hair. But yeah, so this is Miss Maggie. I'm gonna go take her inside now to eat. So I will pick this up in just a bit. Okay, so I have to completely refilm this part of the video because I messed it up. Now that I've told you guys that I have a dog, I can tell you about the horrible day I had whenever I um, watched the girls for the first time. Now this happened probably about a week and a half ago, but um, Jackson had gone fishing with his dad in Tishomingo, so that is two hours away-ish. It was my first time home alone with both the girls alone, and sorry, I'm watching the dogs, and oh my God, you're kidding. Okay, let's try this again. The air conditioner came on. The dogs are playing under the porch and they keep hitting the side of the house and hitting the top of the porch. So yeah, just ignore them. But like I was saying, it was my first time home alone with both the girls by myself and I did not really have any like people to come help me. So I was really just like alone. Get back, get, no, get. I'm sorry, this is literally chaos, but anyways. First day, home alone, both girls by myself. Nobody is coming to help me. Like, I'm literally by myself. So I wake up, and it's about 9 o'clock, because that's the time I usually wake up. Jackson had left at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, Cash usually wakes up 10, 10, 30, and Kimber wakes up around 11. So I get up, and I'm going to let out the dogs. Maggie was actually already in the house, because Jackson had put her in there before he left, and I had to come outside and get Cletus and feed them and everything like that. So I go and get Maggie from the laundry room and I put her outside of the baby gate and I walked her to the front door and I open the door and she runs past the front door and it goes and pees on the floor in the playroom and I was like why did you do that but it was fine she peed on the floor we moved past it I cleaned it up took her outside all of that good stuff okay so we had to move away from that area again oh so about an hour later my mom calls me and she's like hey have your sisters gotten to contact with you yet and I was like no why what's wrong what's going on and she tells me that they both tested positive for COVID. My sister was running like 103 fever. And yeah, so both of them were at my house for the two days before that eating my salsa and I had to throw it away. So anyways, yeah, so that happens. And then a little bit later, I am picking up some of Cash's toys and in our living room kind of dining area, it's open. So there's some built in bookshelves and I have Cash like a little book nook. Um, area that she has like her own shelf with books and a little chair to read in and stuff like that so I was cleaning up her books and some other little like bluey toys that she has I keep smelling like poop and I was like oh my gosh Maggie must have pooped yesterday on these bricks and Jackson didn't clean it good because she did poop on the bricks the day before and I genuinely just thought like Jackson didn't clean it good enough and that was not the case. She had pooped on the floor again and I literally had sat in it. I literally sat in it. I stepped over it to sit down and I sat in it with my butt. And I have a video, I'm not gonna post it though because literally my whole butt's out. Um, Cause I was in like sleep shorts and sorry, it's about to get really loud but I'm just checking on my cat. But I'm gonna tell you guys about it in a second. So Cletus, please stop. So yeah, that happened and I like literally run into the shower and whenever it happened, it was so much more dramatic because I was like screaming and running around like a psychopath so yeah i sat in the dog poop and i run to the shower and i take a head to toe shower because i just feel so disgusting and 
yeah it was a whole mess and then something happened after that but it obviously wasn't that important because I forgot um but yeah so so now I can move into the most recent crazy stuff that happens to me so whenever we moved into this house we had Cletus our dog who is this crackhead and also two cats we had Pistol and Dorte and they weren't on my they have not been on my channel very much so you might not even know what they look like but um I'm getting embarrassed because there's literally cars driving by we live on a busy road so my cat Dorte oh I just got embarrassed because Justin came out here anyways anyways so so anyways during these multiple days of like a, literally a whole week worth of storms Dorote actually had run off and we had only been here for about a week probably two weeks maybe like a week and a half we're kind of by a wooded area so my instant thought since we like live in a wooded area was that he ran off and he got caught by like a coyote and he's he's gone. We've also had cats whenever I lived in my mom's house that would run off in the same exact area um, and they'd be gone for like a month or two months and then they'd come back and they'd be perfectly fine. Other thought was like, hey, he ran off and someone's found him. He's a healthy cat. He's a pretty cat. Someone just kept him and has him. So we haven't seen him since like mid-May. I'm so sorry, Cletus. You are so annoying right now. We hadn't seen Dorte since like mid-May and it's now the end of June, right? The end of June. And the other night, Jackson goes to put up the dogs and the cat, our other cat, Pistol. And he calls me, he's like, you have to come out here right now. And I was like, oh, I'm changing Kimber's diaper. Like, give me just a second. I'm getting her ready for bed. And he's like, no, you have to come right now. And I was like, okay. So I go outside and I round the corner to the shop and I'm literally thinking that there's a possum, skunk, raccoon, something's in the shop that's like not obviously supposed to be in the shop and it needs my help getting it out. So I round the corner and guess who is there? My guy, Dorte. And when I tell you, I'm not really gonna show him that much because he looks really bad and really sad. Um, he is literally skin and bones. He's been out doing whatever, wherever for a month and a half so i mean i don't know how much he's been getting to eat he's obviously been eating something because there's no way he would have lived a month and a half out in the woods with nothing to eat so he's obviously been eating something but obviously also not enough um but he was also covered in ticks so that concerned me because i used to work in a vet clinic and i know like things about like diseases and stuff like that so i was instantly worried about like his help it's like 10 o'clock and i text this lady from my old job and i'm like hey i hate to do this but can i please like bring him in he's literally been missing a month and a half i just want some blood work on him see if he's okay i just want what's best for him he's been literally gone for a month and a half and she's like of course like bring him in so we went ahead and took him in and they did his blood work did a feline leukemia snap test um gave him some antibiotics and all of his blood work looked good his snap test was negative um, they gave him that antibiotic, they gave him some flea and tick stuff because like I said he was covered in ticks and he's home. All he needs to do is to eat and we haven't seen him eat yet. Um, so that's a little bit concerning. So hopefully he will eat something soon. Um, if not, I don't really know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. He literally looks so sad. He's so skinny. Yeah, I'm so happy that he's home though. I seriously, I can't believe he's home. But I'm so happy that he is because I was very sad when he ran off um, and I still can't believe that he came back here. Um, I was talking to my dad and even uh, like the people at my old job and they're like, well, since you moved, maybe he like was scared and he went back to the house that you used to live at, which is just in town. So I was like, oh yeah, that does make sense. My dad said the same thing and I was like, yeah, that's what we were talking about when I picked him up. But yeah, I... I literally cannot believe my eyes. I'm still kind of in shock. I just hope he puts on, I just hope he puts on the weight that he's supposed to because he only weighs four pounds and a normal cat weighs for like a full grown healthy cat is like eight pounds. So the fact that he literally weighs four is so bad. So yeah, our family grew by Maggie and then our family regrew by Dorote which is literally insane to me, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video because I've been talking for a while and I need to edit this because I want to post it today. So if you guys have not already, 
So if you guys have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other social medias that are linked down in the description box below. Keep your thoughts and prayers with Dorte as he needs to gain all of his weight back. And yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down.